Hello there everyone, welcome back. My name's H Chen. We are on Battle Talon for this week's Mod Week video. <laughs> Now, for anybody that doesn't know what Mod Week is, it is a special event going on at the Battle Talents Discord server where a whole bunch of different themed mods are getting put out for you guys to try and play just for the fun of it. With amazing mod creators coming together to make some incredible mods. Now, I've gone to try quite a few of these already, so. For now, this might change in the future. I might do it a little bit <coughs> of an updated video on this, but this, with some bonuses, is my top five picks on the best Mod Week mods that you need to try. So, first things first, we have got this big boy here called the Quad Rifle, which is a four barreled LMG, the most powerful EDF infantry rifle available on hand because you're not gonna really do a good job holding this with two hands and simply what you're gonna want to do well actually yeah you maybe want to hold it with two hands now it is four barrel and if you keep laying it go and shoot that is a very powerful gun Woo! oh my god that is strong now if you really want to just make life easy for yourself bring this into the arenas and this will do a treat. Like, it's going that powerful. It keeps forcing itself up. Pretty cool. Next, we've got a really cool one here. And this is the Bleed Arrow. Now, if you have a Bone Arrow, get a quill of these bad boys here. As this will pretty much make your character's NPCs bleed to death. Now, I don't, this won't work on us because self collision isn't a thing in Battle Talent yet. It is a very, very heavy arrow, so do keep in mind. But yeah, I will show this at the end of the video with the bleeding effect. Next, coming in at our number three spot, we have got an electric guitar. Now, this is such a bad boy guitar to use. Oh my goodness. Now, if you really just wanted to go all oh, Eddie Monson on someone's ass, you can literally just recreate the upside down scene going. And then start going absolutely ape shit. Just. Yeah! 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 And it actually makes quite a good clanking effect as well. That's what's amazing about it. <laughs> Next. We're going to be going with one of the probably best pistols that you're going to have at the minute, the Golden Duke. Now, this is what it looks like. It is a really, really pretty pistol right here with a nuclear symbol. Now, you can probably guess what this does, but I'm just going to let it do the talking. How freaking awesome is that? Woo! That's got a kick to it. That has got a freaking kick to it, my guys. Now, for the last couple of mods right here. We've now done around four. So, for our fifth spot right here, we're going to go with this bad guy, the Newcombs Railgun. We've had quite a few railguns added onto this now. But this railgun's quite different from the rest. This railgun right here has a working scope, which is very, very awesome to see. It's very, very zoomed in. Keep in mind, so if you're going to use this, do use this at a very big distance, because it will blur stuff out quite a bit like this. But look at how cool the effects are, guys. Overall, really good mechanics with the gun. Really, really nice layout. Beautiful design. It's nice and minimalistic. I love the red on it. And the reloading time on it, you just have to hold down trigger. Because, like, obviously, gun functionality isn't really a thing yet. It does an actual wonders with this. Now, 
for a railgun that actually has some really good functionality with the scope, I really recommend this bad boy. Now, for our bonus ones right here, you can pretty much guess what this... Oh, what's it doing? Oh, no. Right, well, if I can't pick it up, well, you can pretty much guess what this is. Why are you going away? Oh, for God's sakes. Well, that was raised quarter staff. Yeah. And last but not least, no, go away. We have got a spell crystal. Now, if you've watched my Battle Town videos for quite a long time, this is the prop prop spell right here. Now, ignore this. Yeah, so because I haven't got any props installed, it is blank at this moment in time. So it will say this, but get some props installed, add it to your mod folder, and you'll be able to use this as a basically prop installer, like the spell songs. Now, as far as pretty good mods go, these are the best ones at this moment in time that I could find. Now, honestly, these are just so freaking unique. Big shout out to all the modders that keep going with Mod Week so far. I don't know how long it's going to last, but we're only going to get so many mods until Mod Week ends. And then it will go back to the usual rate of however that works. But last but not least, if you haven't already as well, check out the new UI menu, guys. Like, this is sick. This is sick. And now, it's, it's got a real nice crisp dungeon element. We've now got... A cheap menu that's actually a little bit more laid out you can see stuff more clearly and if you've got mods you just click this to go to the mod website and you can select now default or modded areas how freaking cool is that and if you wanted like to spawn a mod you can now do that and bam we've got Yoda's lightsaber spawned and if you check the regular menu as well that's got a nice UI menu as well how freaking cool is that? New UI menus. We've got to love them. We've got to freaking love them, guys. Thank you so much for watching. My name's HN, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.